Hello everyone and welcome. This is a brand new series that Erderberry just started. This is the first one. This is the state of the market powered by Comptel. Uh, each week we'll be diving into one market to give you a quick update in five minutes or less. This week we'll be covering eggs with Brian Moscajuri, egg market reporter and director of marketing here at Erderberry. Thanks so much for joining us, Brian. Hey Laura, thanks for having me. How are you? Doing okay. Really, really excited to talk about eggs. It's baking season. It is, and it's supposed to be a really, really good baking season, right? Everyone's stuck at home, people need things to do, the weather's getting cold, so the producers are expecting big things from the retail side of demand. So let's take a look at what's going on. Yes. I'm going to open up Comtel, um, share my screen here. Uh, let's just quickly look at production. Um, what we've seen in the first eight months, nine months of the year is that production has been pulling back, right? with the food service demand destruction with the oversupply of 2019 producers have been pulling back on bird numbers um, and if we just take a look at the number of layers that we have here in the u.s and a little fly out chart you can see that we were up over 341 million layers to start the year um, we saw a 10 million bird pullback during q1 and then after the COVID issue we went from 331 million layers down to a low of right around 314 million layers. But what you're seeing now is birds are starting to return, right? They're getting production ready for holiday demand. Um, so what have we seen in price? If we go over to our pricing table here, I'll we'll go over to shell eggs and pull up our regional table grade eggs page. Um, you can see that some of our pricing extra large has begun to trend a little bit lower. Um, large has been relatively steady at $1.21. Um, we'll pull up that chart just for comparison. And I'm gonna pull up a five year average just so we can kind of take a look at where the markets typically are versus where we are now. Um, pull up five years, show the average, update our chart. I'm going to get rid of a couple of years, 15, 16, 17, and 18, just to kind of look at where we've been recently in history. 2019 obviously was a low market marred by overproduction. So we can kind of see where we are now versus 2019 versus the five-year average. So if you look at the average of the market, typically we're down as we get into September through October and at times, um, you know, through the middle of October. What we're seeing right now is kind of the opposite of that. The market has actually been up rebounding since late August. And you know that that's a little bit seasonal. What is a little odd is this recent uptick. And that was really motivated by two things, right? Canada has been buying a lot of eggs and that was really ahead of their Thanksgiving, which was the beginning of October. And also the government box program. So the government has been putting a lot of protein, six pounds of protein in these boxes that they're donating to the American public. And that was a little bit of a, a rushed buy. They had to take in a lot of protein to get those boxes out by the end of October. So the producers were scrambling to get shell eggs to put into those boxes. But now as that slows down and as the Canadian exports slow down and production is increasing, obviously as, as producers get ready for this demand period, right? You see the seasonality in the chart. This is typically the best time of the year for eggs, late November, early December. We're seeing some more eggs become available. We're hearing that inventories are increasing and prices are a little bit more negotiable. So we're, we're not sure if the market's going to be able to hold at these levels or if we're going to see a pullback. But, you know, everyone is kind of targeting this period to see some sort of rally as we get ready for this holiday demand period and the consumer hits the stores and buys a lot of eggs and, and starts the baking season. That's a great recap, Brian, and I'm glad that we were able to really see that visually in charts. I think the five-year average really speaks to uh, just how much of an anomaly 2020 has been for everyone. Yeah, I mean, this is a record high back here, um, and we haven't been anywhere close to those levels or the five-year average since. We just crossed as we got through the end of September and into October. So um, it's been a rough market, both in 2019 and so far in, in 2020 for the producers. So all eyes are on the rest of the fourth quarter and the holiday baking season. 
Absolutely. Well, we've already made it through five years of 2020. So um, we're almost there. We're almost across the finish line. But I appreciate your time. Uh, I'm Laura Zinger, host of the Ernerberry Market Digest podcast and territory sales manager. Uh, we've been speaking with Brian Moscajuri, egg market reporter and director of marketing here at Ernerberry. And this was State of the Market. Uh -huh.